this is MOSFETs, HP MOSFETs. So here we have the source. So always the first pin and the second pin and the third pin are the source. Hi. So in this video, we're going to see how to check the MOSFETs and how to know if a MOSFET in the motherboard is shorted or not. So let's get started. So we should first put the multimeter to the continuity option or to the buzzer option. As you can see here, this is MOSFETs, HP MOSFETs. So here we have the source. So always the first pin and the second pin and the third pin are the source. These three pins are connected together. Okay, as you can see. And in the other side, we have four pins that are connected together. The drain, as you can see. So the drain contains four pins connected together, as you can see. Okay? We get a low resistance in the multimeter. So now, let's check between the drain and the cells the resistance as you can see we get 367 okay by inversing the probes we get here another reading normally we should get one here or overload okay but because the mosfet is connected to the other components in the motherboard that's why we get a reading when we inverse the probes so normally when you test a MOSFET, you should get a reading in just one side between drain to source or source to drain. So here, as you can see, this is the CPU power management controller component. Here we have four MOSFETs. We're going to check this MOSFET. So let's check between drain and source using the multimeter. We have here a very low resistance. This is a short no. This is not a short, this is the resistors of the CPU. As you can see, we have 008. This is a very low resistance. Normally, we should get 300 or 600. But if we remove the CPU, the resistance will be increased. Okay? Here, as you can see, this MOSFET is connected to the ground, as you can see. Here, the source of the MOSFET is connected to the ground and the drain is connected to the CPU, okay? So let's remove the CPU and then check the MOSFETs again. So let's check again these MOSFETs. Normally we should find a high resistance because we remove the CPU. So let's check. As you can see, we have one means open resistance. Okay, but if we install the CPU again and check the MOSFETs, we will find 008 or a very low resistors. So let's check after installing the CPU, as you can see, we have a low resistance again. So this is not a short, this is a very normal testing. This is not a short atmosphere. So pay attention to this point. The MOSFETs near to the CPUs and to the chipsets like Northbridge or ICH are normal when you get a low resistance.